Hey everybody, we're bringing you another knot tutorial today. We're tying the Palomar knot. We're gonna get right into it so that if you are on the water, you can tie it and you can get fishing. And then after we tie the knot, we'll talk about use case. All right, you're gonna thread your line through. It doesn't really matter which way because you're gonna turn around and thread it right back through, okay? So you should have a loop on this end <clears throat> and tag, pull plenty of line through. So you've got this loop, you've got your tag and your main line here. Take the loop, go ahead and tie an overhand knot here, but before you close it all the way up, pass your hook or your bait through that loop. Now at this point, I'm gonna hold the loop with my thumb and my main line and everything. So I to focus like that. I'm gonna wet the line and then I'm gonna start to pull. I'm gonna put my fingers here because whenever I tie it, the loop tends to try and go back over. I'm gonna put my fingers to hold the loop and I'm gonna pull my main and my tag line until that comes down tight, like so. And then I'm gonna take my main line in one hand and my tag line in the other hand, and I'm just gonna give it a good pull like that. <clears throat> take my snips, snip off my tag line, and there you go. That is the polymer knot. You have two strips of line running through, a good tight knot. This is probably the strongest knot that you can tie. Now, most of the time I use this knot for jigs or for Texas rigging. So I'm gonna take a four aught EWG here, some 12 pound test braid. I've run it through the aisle at once. I'm gonna run the tag in back through. So I've got a loop, pull plenty of line out. Once again, I have the loop on one side, the main and the tag on this side, overhand knot. And then I take that loop, I'm gonna open it up, pass the hook or the bait through it. I'm gonna grab it right below the eyelet here so the loop doesn't go back down over the hook. Go ahead and wet my line, and then I'm gonna pull that tight. Grab the tag in in one hand, and the main line in one hand, and give them a good solid tug. So that's the Palomar knot, which is probably the strongest knot that you're gonna tie as a bass fisherman. <clears throat> it's a great knot to use for uh, when you're pitching in a deep cover. It's good on your EWGs, your jigs. Like if you know that you might get stuck or you might need to pull something through cover or you might hook a fish that's gonna get tangled in a root system or some tree branches or something, tie the Palomar knot. Um, it's pretty easy to tie. It ties really well with pretty much everything. You saw that we tied it with um, big 30 pound mono and then we turned around and we tied it on some 12 pound braid. Both times tied beautifully. It's not coming undone. Uh, get out there, tie it, use it, catch some fish, and I will catch you next time.